The modern monetary theory alternative framing versus the neoclassical economic metaphors from before. Government spending, metaphorical claim 1. Government spending puts money in our pockets. Implied meaning, government spending increases non-government's income. Metaphorical, claim 2. Government invests in the productive capacity of our nation. Implied meaning, government spending increases our capacity to provide for the needs of our population. Metaphoric, claim 3. Government cannot run out of money, the true constraint is our nation's resources. Implied meaning, there is no financial constraint although there could be a resources constraint. Fiscal balance, metaphoric, claims 1. Government deficits allow us to save. Implied meaning government deficits equal non-government surpluses. Metaphoric, claim 2. Government surpluses equal non-government deficits. Implies meaning, government surpluses reduce non-government financial savings. Metaphoric, claim 3. The fiscal balance is largely determined by the economy's performance. Implied meaning, fiscal balance outcome is not discretionary. Metaphoric, claim 4. The nation cannot run out of its own money. Implied meaning, government budget is not like a household. Public debt, metaphoric, claim 1. The government's debt is our asset. Implied meaning, government debt provides a risk-free financial asset to strengthen non-government portfolios. Implied meaning, 2. Government debt helps to stabilize the financial system. Income support, metaphoric claim 1. We take care of our own. Implied meaning, as our government faces no financial constraints, it uses its fiscal capacity to ensure resources are mobilized to care for its propulsion. Metaphorical, claim 2. A good nation supports its people. Implied meaning unemployment is always evidence of a policy failure, a failure to put resources to work. Metaphorical, claim 3. A good nation helps to support those in other nations who need help. Implied meaning. Rich nations help to mobilize resources needed by poorer nations.